Alrighty, guys, how we doing today? Today, tonight, it's nighttime when I'm recording, but who knows what it'll be when you guys are watching this. So, uh, anyway, back to the question: How you doing? This is Scro Titus, and we're playing another episode of Feed the Beast. How you doing? Uh, our newest addition here, a second level, uh, walls completed up. I kind of stopped here because I'm not sure what I want to do next. <laughs> if I want to take this up another. Uh, another floor if I want to start uh, with the roof I want to do I know I want to do a dome for the roof so I think I'll probably start it here not certain though um, I do know I want to connect it to the building here knock this wall these windows out and make that a doorway just like we have down below here but that's not going to be the focus of our episode today guys today I think we are going to um, I think we're going to actually do our cow farm. I've been uh, spending some time thinking about this. Uh, I've actually got a lot of plans for this area right over here. Right back in this area. This chest is actually probably going to have to go bye-byes. Yeah. We don't need any of this stuff anyway. Let's clear it all out and uh, knock it out of here. Gone. Give me that back, and boom. All right. So this area has been reserved for our cow farm, and that's exactly what we're going to build here. But we need some building blocks. I have nothing of uh, use in my inventory, so we actually need to head back in. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, did not have that planned. I actually have a lot of things, like I was saying, that I want to do with that area. Uh, one of the things being I want to work with... Um, some red power, or not red power, wow. I want to do some things with, oh, lava, wow. Again, horrible, horrible brain fart there, guys. Uh, I want to I wanna work with lava in that area. Uh, I just want to get all the blocks that I may need. I think that's going to do it for that. I'd like to use some of these, do some wiring. Uh, we are going to need filters and deployers most likely, but we'll get to that in a little bit. And what else do we need? We need our cow soul shard and our soul cage, most definitely. That should do it for right now. So, um... Like I said, a lot of plans for out here for this side. I want to do, we're going to do our cow farm today. And I'm thinking maybe, actually, the more that I look at it, I think we'll do it here and we'll have them go this way. We'll have our milking station right about here. Run the pipe up and in, or maybe into the side there. Since that's an out, yeah, we'll have to run it in the side there. Uh, we'll bring it down. We'll have a small barbecue section. And then have a way to deposit books in that direction. Uh, then I have another area here that we're going to designate for lava generation from our nether bees, which are doing swimmingly. And then uh, I'm not sure if I want to. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of split uh, as to how I want to do a reed farm. I'm thinking maybe we do a second one of these over here. In this general area, just mirror what we've done here on this side and um, have reeds be part of it. And then we ship that across over this way, make paper and use the leather, excess leather from our cow farm that's going to be here to make books. That's one plan. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. So anyway, let's get down to what we want to do, which is make a cow farm. Alright, we're going to clear out a bit of this land here, make it good and level, and that should do it right there. We don't need a lot of space because a lot of this is actually going to be above ground. And I'm thinking also, well, looking at this, let's knock this out as well. I want to start from the bottom up, which means that we need to start with our barbecue station first. So let's get some blocks here. I'm thinking I want to use this basalt cobble. I want to see what it looks like at least. So let's put some of this down. Am I going to like the way this looks? 
Yes, <laughs> I do very much so. Um, we're going to put some of these down in the middle here. Like that. And we're going to put this down on the other side. Okay. So far, so good. This is going to be, like I said, this is where our barbecue station... Actually, which way do we want? We're going to use these conveyors instead of um, water, just because if we wanted to use water, we'd be playing uh, vanilla. Right, guys? Let's see. we got a lot of dirt here. A lot of areas. Oh, looks like we've had some Endermen visit us over here. And these look a little out of place. <laughs> let's let's make these guys feel a little bit more uh, natural. There we go. Yeah, because that looks extremely natural, doesn't it? You see small mounds of dirt with trees growing out of them all the time. Uh, all right. So now that we've wasted the last minute of the video, let's get down to work with what we're actually doing here. Like I said, we're building this from the ground up or backwards, meaning that... Um, what I want to do is we'll have a small breeding cell that will, um, and actually we may use water for there. The more I think about it, I think we will. Uh, but the cows will flow. They'll be spawned here. They'll flow that way. They will drop down into a, a, a small cell that will move down this way. They will then drop down to here. Now, we want to drop them down. We'll have a milking station, and then... We'll have uh, a lever control or some contraption after we're done milking them to open up, which will then allow them to drop down here, which will be our barbecue station. And we will deposit our meat and uh, leather down at the end. Yummy. So we are going to need to have this conveyor running in this direction. Five, six. Perfect. Okay. Um, we need to have this one up higher, and then, uh, this back wall is actually where we're going to need to figure out how we're going to be cooking our cows. So let's, uh, hmm. Actually, let me think about this. I don't think I want to go any further down than that. So we're going to want to move this to there, right? Okay, and we have our glass viewer, which is now my glass of choice. A uh, couple reasons. It does this cool blending together. So it's unified. It looks like the smooth textures. It, it's not like regular glass, which as you see up there, regular glass has all those lines across it, and it's hard to see through it. This is really easy to see through. It almost looks as though it's not there. It's really cheap. It's uh, uh, Eight glass pieces and a, a bit of iron in the middle of iron ingot, so it's not like it's very, uh, it's n it's not uh, expensive. And uh, you can also then mount items to it, which is cool. So, all right, that's our bottom conveyor. What I also want to do with these bottom conveyors is I may be s hooking up some redstone to them. If I do that, we'll have to clear out this. Because they, they can actually be turned on and off, which is something that will be cool to have this all sort of controlled. We may even go into some computer work with this. Uh, I kind of want to start doing more computer crafting stuff. Uh, I've kind of gotten away from it, and I wish I hadn't. So you may see some of that work. Now this backside is going to be deployers, dispensers, something that's going to have lava buckets. And we're probably going to go every other with those to there. Okay, so we'll have three of those that will dispense our lava and cook our cows till the end. They'll get here, they'll die. We'll probably hold them here and then allow their meat to go down and be collected in this area. I don't know if we're going to use transpos transposers or if we want to use uh, different uh, uh, obsidian pipes or what have you. Okay, so that's going to be there. We need some more of this to come across let's see right let's use some of this smooth or sm smooth stone bricks next kind of keep that clean okay 
This is going to be the floor for the next level then. Cows only need a height of two. So we want to make sure, and actually this is going to have to be, come on. We're going to have to bring in some sticky pistons so we have a movable floor, right? And that's going to be right there. So we want this to be solid. And let's grab these. And our cows are going to be moving in this direction here. Hopefully, they'll drop down a one high pull. Maybe we'll have this be too, too wide for pistons. I just kind of want to get everything laid out first. And I'm, I want to do it with you guys so you can see the idea of the system. And then I'll do some of the tedious redstone work and stuff off camera. And then we'll come back and we'll review it all. And it'll all make sense and be happy, happy. All right. So we want to bring that down. We're going to bring this here. Okay. So that's good, right? Now we need more of these. And this is going to be up one more. So let's do this. And we just want a small little section. Uh, you know what? This is going to be here. And we have two more. Oh, we have three more. Okay. Two. All right. Hmm. You know what? The more I look at this, well, we'll have to wait and see. We'll wait and see. That's fine. So they're going to come down here. We're going to have water. And I'm thinking maybe we do, nah. We'll do a row of this right and then we'll do glass so we can see what's going on up here I think that works we'll have to see how far down we want to bring this but uh, then we need a nice little platform for our spawner to go on right and I'm thinking controls wise we need a couple different things we need a, a control to turn our spawner on and off because we grinded enough cows <laughs> to get a tier 5 soul shard, so we'll be able to do that, right? We need um, controls, I think, to turn on and off the conveyors. I think that would be kind of cool. And then we need controls to uh, turn on and off our milking process, and we need controls to turn on and off our um, cooking process. So that's actually, what was that, four things, five things. That's a lot of controls that we need for this system. So like I said, I don't know if we want to try computer craft. There's a lot of cool stuff with it. Or if we should maybe just stick to redstone wiring and uh, do some colored wires and stuff like that because that's really cool too. But uh, we got some options, which is, which is neat. All right, so how big is this area? We don't want it to be too big. One, two, three... One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's good. All right. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and cut here. We are going to chop down this tree, <laughs> obviously. I'm doing that now. Um, and I'm going to get some work done. Also, I forgot. I kind of messed up. These can't be glass here. Oh, wait, no. They come down. Yeah. This will be our two, maybe we'll do three uh, milking cells right there. And we'll have the pipes come down and be processed somewhere. Shoot, I forgot about the processing. Maybe we'll bring them out and processed here and then down or up even into there. That could be cool. So we're going to have our milk buckets come out and filtered. They're going to go, oh, we need to get power up there as well. Our power is going to come from here. So we're going to have to run power lines probably down and up. All right. Well, we've got a lot of good stuff going on here, a lot of work to do, but I like the way it looks so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut. And actually, I may move it down one block. I don't know if I like it overlapping the tank here. We'll have to take a look from afar back. But uh, I like what's going on so far, guys. So uh, you sit tight, and I am going to get some work done on our new cow farm. Okay. All right, guys, we're back, and we've got a lot of work done for us to check out, so let's not delay. Um, firstly, let's see what we did over here. I cleaned up this area a lot. 
I really like what we did here. Uh, just a little cubby hole. There's this <laughs> sort of unused space back here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. There's a lot of a lot of edges and things I need to clean up with this room and uh, and the rest of the house, the storage room. But uh, this little walkway here, I like what I did here, and I left little holes. I'm going to be putting lights in each one of those. Uh, sort of unrelated, but what that did do then it allowed me to realign these posts. I moved the switches for our power lines here and here. And you'll see there's a redstone conduit running right here. Let me explain why that is running. And by showing you what we've done over here, guys, what do you think? Uh, I absolutely love it. I couldn't be much more happier than uh, than I am with the way it cool turned stuff. out. So let's first show you the cow chamber, the spawner up here. Let me see if I can get these things placed. And if not, I'll just sort of talk you through what I want to do. Oh, they did, but I need one more. Shoot. Okay, so this is jacketed wiring here running to our, our cow soul cage, okay? That's going to run then to this that we will run down the back side here. Looks like our, our lag's sort of breaking up, which is good. Um, we may do a, a leg straight down. Uh, we also have wiring here. We have a timer set up pointing to three repeaters that go into a block. On the other side of this block is the dispenser with a lava bucket in it. And we've got torches underneath these blocks. What this does is it creates the double pulse that worked prior to 1.5, the redstone update. After the redstone update, this design broke, but luckily the ultimate pack is still behind, so we're good to go with that. Um, what this does, this setup allows us to uh, have these three dispensers here that will cook. It, it'll be dual purpose. They will kill the cow and cook the cow at the same time, so that's... Uh, that's pretty cool stuff there. Uh, what then happens is we have leather and meat that will come down this conveyor belt and be sucked up by our redstone engine, which is enhancing the, the power of our obsidian pipe. That obsidian pipe then pumps into one of these two barrels, either leather or cooked steak. Simple enough. Now, we did do a control panel, and I'm pretty excited about this. Let me show you how this is going to work. We've got four levers. The blue one is going to come up, and let me show you first. These all come up into a bundled cable right up to here, and then the other colors will shoot off of this side, okay? The blue cable comes up to this timer, which is going to be, you know what, let me, those cows. That's probably one of the worst sounds, so I will spare you guys that. This timer goes into this redstone tubing, which is going to pull the filters and power the deployers, right? That's going to milk these cows. It's the same setup we had before. The milk buckets are then going to go into the liquid transposer, out the top with the liquid into our tank, and the, uh, and the bottom is going to be our empty buckets, which are going to return through this cobble pipe back up into the deployers. Pretty simple theory, right? Underneath, we've got two trap doors. These trap doors are going to be controlled by another one of our cables. We're going to run right across the top here. Okay. Um, I haven't decided what color yet. Could be any of them. It doesn't really matter. Yellow, white, or red. Uh, we'll run that right across there. That just simply opens those, well, opens those trap doors so the cows drop down. Pretty simple, right? Uh, and then we have the lava dispensers that we went over to cook the cows. And then we have the fourth um, or cable, which is probably going to be this white one here, that is going to um, turn this cow spawner on and off. Pretty. Okay, so here we are, guys. We've got our finished product. We had to do a little bit of tweaking, but I think everything is going to work out beautifully now. So let's uh, do a quick run through as to what everything does. And we will start right here with our control panel. All right, we've got four levers, a spawner, a barbecue, a dropper, and a milking lever. Uh, pretty much anything you can do with a cow is going to be done in this system. So let's get down to it, all right? We've got our cow up here. Our cow spawner area, all right? We've got a wire running down the back. That's controlled with the first switch. Let's go ahead and flip it. See, we got some cows spawning. 
Turn it back off because we don't want to go crazy with cows, all right? You see they flow down, and then there's a conveyor belt that pushes them all down into what is our milking area, a very small milking area. All right, if we want to milk those cows, we could do that. Let's, uh, all right, we've got uh, 1,830. Okay, do we have power in our, oh, we got lots of power, so we don't need to turn our power on. Let's just go ahead and turn on our milking operation. All right, and we can see the buckets going. Transposer, boom, boom, boom. Milk flowing up into our tank. And see, it's it's pumping full. So the milking operation working like a charm. Let's go ahead and shut that down. Next thing we got is the um, the barbecuer. Okay, and I actually want to turn that on before we drop the the. Do I really need that much milk? Of course I do. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and turn on the barbecuer and we see it and let's drop the cows down and I believe that should get I think that got them all let's turn the barbecuer back off watch these last couple tragically burn to death Oh, they didn't. Okay. We can close the dropper back up and turn the barbecue back on. Got one. And got two. There we go. And I thought that... There we go. Did it pick them up or did I? No, I picked them up. Okay. And it should be popping in there. Any second. Um, let's go ahead and round back and check out our wiring. All right, so what we got up here is our control panel. Different colors, blue, yellow, red, white. We can see that from down below. Those are all flowing into this bundled cable, all right? And that runs down along here and then down underneath. We've enclosed everything underneath our dropper so that our wiring is safe. And no, it didn't. See, it's shooting out for some reason. Oh, you know why. It's shooting out because it's supposed to go in the top, not the bottom. Okay. That's an adjustment I'm going to have to make after this episode. Having that uh, meat drop into the top instead of the bottom. But uh, let's throw that in there. Oop. Throw that in. And... Throw our steak in there. There we go. All right, so the wiring, this bundled cable comes around, and first we have, uh, it actually goes over to the yellow. Here it comes off, and those are our two pistons, which control our dropper. We then have the white go all the way up the back and the side, which is where the spawner is. We then have our red come off the bundled cable to here, which runs a timer. And these two uh, repeaters go into a block. The uh, dispensers are on the other side of it with these redstone torches underneath, which allow the barbecue to <laughs> barbecue the barbecue cooker <laughs> to uh, shoot the lava in and out. And then over here we've got the blue insulated wire coming off the bundle uh, on this side to this timer, and this runs out along over to our milker. Let's uh, let me show you that real quick. What we've done here, we had to switch the cables around a bit because our um, our deployers weren't getting a charge. So what we did was we have this uh, redstone tubing here getting a signal from this wire, okay? This is the signal coming in from the timer back there. This redstone uh, dust gives it the power to this, and then we run it along over here, and this dust gives the signal to the filters. So they run off the same pulse, but it still works pretty flawlessly. Um, the milk buckets come out. You see the filters are set up with the milk bu buckets. They come out into the transposer up here, empty out here. They then go out the back into this relay and then back into the deployers. Um, power coming in the side, and we have our milk dispensing out the top. 
that's the system, guys. That's the setup. Everything is looking excellent. All right, yeah, so that's our control panel. That's our cow spawner. That's our cooker. That's our milker. That is our, I'm going to call it, guys, our CPU. All right. I like the name because it's sort of the central processing unit for our power source, our milk for our base. But it's also our cow processing unit. All right, so that's a pretty horrible name. We'll think of something else, but uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you like what, what we did here with the cow and the milking and everything. I like this a lot better than the setup we had originally, mostly because we don't have the annoying cow's moon in the background. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, like I said, is going to do it. I want to thank you guys for all the support that you've given me over the last 100 episodes. That's right. This is actually is episode 101 going up right now. So, again, I want to thank you for all the support. If you guys uh, want to, you can follow me on the Twitter. Uh, I got uh, an account out there, and I've been putting out some information about the series and then retreat retweeting stuff from Mojang and those guys so uh, you can follow me at uh, scrotitisplays at twitter.com it's uh, on the uh, end screen but uh, yeah throw a like on the video if you enjoyed it and I will check you guys all in the next episode we will see ya <laughs>